Hi, welcome back to Rebecca's Travels. Today I'm going to be doing the latest, uh, most exciting travel news from around the world. So let's jump right into it. Now, according to breakingtravelnews.com, the five amazing, fascinating travel news facts are as follows. Number one, Abu Dhabi in the Emirates has launched its hygiene certificate as uh, tourism relaunch, uh, relaunches near. Now, that means the hotels within the, the Emirates, the United Arab Emirates, um, have undergone rigorous sanitation um, from, be, uh, from the beginning of March and uh, it's going to be leading up to the opening of the properties uh, once they've uh, received um, the, cl uh, the clearance and certification from the Department of Culture and Tourism in Abu Dhabi. So, fingers crossed, um, things go extremely well for them, um, like any other uh, country in the world and I hope they get run it up and running as safely as possible. Now, number two, J.A. Manafaro in the Maltese, Maldives is supposed to reopen in October. Um, those most northern tip of the Maltese in the beautiful High Afu Tal, J.H. Manafara's other privacy and space and uh, distance uh, from the other islands as it sits perfectly where the Arabian Sea meets um, the vast amazing Indian Ocean so ho hopefully that goes perfectly well um, in October time this year. Now uh, the country, the little island of Malta uh, where I've uh, been on holiday before um, is uh, welcoming holiday makers from mid-July Wow, that's absolutely amazing for the country again. Malta will um, lift restrictions on all flights, arrivals, including the United Kingdom uh, from July the 15th. So hopefully that uh, will go well for the country. British tourists will uh, w be welcome back to Malta, Gozo and Camino for leisure and business trips. So that's absolutely fantastic and amazing uh, for the country and also for people that want to go there that haven't been there before. And uh, yes, it is. Uh, they are beautiful islands to go and see. So um, it is worth going, in my opinion. I just probably wouldn't spend as long as what we did. I'd probably just go for seven days, but it's still well worth a visit. Um, number four, um, how season uh, breaks bookings record as UK open for the summer season. Now, self-catering um, brands uh, such as Hostess and, and uh, Cottages uh, dot com enjoyed their best ever online day yesterday. Wow, that's amazing. The new follows as a decision by the Prime Minister Boris Johnson to allow domestic holidays to restart uh, from July the 4th, uh, which basically is Independence Day in America, but that is absolutely amazing. So, um, 
so I'm really hoping everywhere it uh, goes as planned um, or it goes as planned uh, for the whole world and as the UK opening up to tourism. Um, number five, Nubo Hotel London Port Man Square debuted in November 2020 is to open. The new hotel uh, features a new bow restaurant, bar and outdoor terrace plus 600 person ballroom, gym, wellness uh, facilities and meeting rooms. It looks absolutely amazing online so I checked that out on uh, breaking uh, travelnews.com also you can um, go on to their website to uh, receive more information about uh, travel around the world so thank you for watching please like and subscribe if you haven't already done so and I'll see you in my next video which is uh, going to be on my uh, lifestyle channel and it's going to be tomorrow and it's going to be my favourite um, horror films of all time. So please keep watching over on my lifestyle ch channel for this. On my uh, travel channel though, um, the next um, is uh, going to be on Friday, Friday afternoon and again it's uh, going to be an update um, on the latest travel news worldwide so thank you for watching everybody and um, please subscribe if you haven't already done so and ring the notification bell I love you all you all mean the world to me and bye for now thank you bye everybody have a fantastic day thank you bye